give you a bit of a, a history of theories of suffering. And I'm going to compare the Marxist theory of suffering to the Judeo-Christian theory of suffering. And the Judeo-Christian, and the reason I'm doing that is because I think the Judeo-Christian theory of suffering is actually one of the foundation stones of our entire culture. And so it actually matters why you think they're suffering. And so the, the story that describes the entry of suffering into the world, the mythological story is the story in Genesis, the story of Adam and Eve. And basically what happens in the story of Adam and Eve is Adam and Eve are unconscious to begin with, and they're sort of in this paradisal state. There's no death, or at least there's no knowledge of death, there's also no knowledge of self. And then Eve eats the apple that the serpent gives her, and the scales fall from her eyes, and she gives the apple to Adam, and he eats it as well, so she makes himself conscious. They both wake up, the first thing that happens is they realize that 